Hello and welcome back to Luke's Down Gaming. <laughs> I had to like wait there for the delay and also switch back to the game so I can actually play the game. Oh crud. I, I don't know if the stream picked that up but that would be awkward if it did because I was just updating Twitch on my laptop here and the stream decided well on my laptop as well and the stream decided to open up as I was doing that so I just ended up with oh dang it was <laughs> trying to reach forward to get the to do that to lock my laptop and close the screen and I ended up pull, pulling the cable that my headset's attached to but anyway today I'm going to be doing the a few hours of time trial for this tonight's simulation race in league races so let's get to it I guess and the first track I'm not even sure to pronounce that one the, is it Os Oscar Sleben Os Oscar Sl <laughs> Oscar Sleben GP <laughs> I probably just butchered that quite badly so apologies for any German folk watching because well, I don't even know if that's German. <laughs> that could be Austrian for all I know. So yeah, let's. Well, before I crack on with that, if I change tabs and press X, my last time around this track was actually a 134.739 in our in the rough RGT8 GT3 car, and that was that was like many months ago. That that may that probably was for one of the the league races so yeah <laughs> and that compares against the friends leaderboard as being down there and I'm hoping to be aiming for like around about this region the 129 region because like those times were set quite like this time was set quite long ago and yeah <laughs> quite slower back then whereas now I might do better hopefully or at least that's the idea so yeah like, We'll be going with the McLaren 12C GT3 because that's my car choice for this for the GT3 season league anyway. And let's get a yeah, give us a better look at it, I guess. I did this the last time around, but like the last time around, I did the time trial. I did a a no mic sort of muted stream sort of thing essentially. Whereas this time I'm doing it with my headset on and. I do still have a bit of a sore throat, so there might be times when I might mute it and pause to take a drink, or might even pause at one point to go and grab a strep so for keeping my throat sort of better, I guess. But for now, let's just load this up. And I don't know why my laptop still thinks it's on, even though I've closed the lid. Maybe I need to give it that moment to sort of realise. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done this track anyway. But it does it does sort of have some features of other sort of racing tracks, so hmm. I guess I won't remember how this goes till I get back into it here. Right away it reminds me a bit of Mugello. Right, hang on a minute, I'm going to <laughs> stupid laptop. I have the screen closed. This is the part when you go off, because I've switched it off at the power, meaning that it should go into... I don't know if it's like sleep mode or close lid mode. Close lid mode, otherwise, that, otherwise I'm going to shut you down. <laughs> Stupid thing. Let me lock myself back in, I'll meet my mic. Then I'll log back out, close that, and give it a moment. Hopefully this time it'll shut up. Because <laughs> it has a fold, I've got like a fold out fan thing underneath it that keeps it relatively cool and for the most part, but it tends to make a lot of background noise, or a lot of racket in the background. And <sighs> Stupid, stupid thing. <laughs> there we go, finally. <laughs> I was close to just pressing shutdown on it and getting it 
getting over with quicker. Anyway, let's focus on this now that I've sorted that out. I'll probably end up muting at times just so that I can actually, like, not have to worry about muting if I need to suddenly cough or clear my throat or something. Which I might do now, actually. Well, I'll unmute just to s Oh yeah, I remember this track. <laughs> I remember this track very well. Even though we only played on it at once. It has that sort of... Really... It's, it's kind of... It reminds me a bit of like Malaysia or the upcoming... Chinese Grand Prix for the F1 circuit sort of thing. That first corner, but... More like the opposite way around in terms of that you have the sharp turn first and then the sort of swooping out corner. Or sweeping corner, I don't know how to describe that. Long banking sort of turn. Yeah, I, re I remember this track now. <laughs> this was one of those tracks that if you like got the got the lap together it could come together quite well, but otherwise you'd be sh if you like l lost uh, momentum in one place you'd probably lose momentum for the next several turns. I'm hoping microphone and game volume sounds okay, I've not really had any trouble so far or, or I think usually it tends to soften the game audio whenever you speak sort of thing. From like the past broadcasts that I've done so far from like the league race nights. It's like when people talk it kind of mutes out the game. Hey there Octo. Yeah I meant to say about there, there is, I've got my mic active this time so I can at least respond to chat but and like for giving a, an intro and outro to the stream sort of thing, but for the most part I probably end up being muted and with still having a sore throat, but it's not actually too bad at the moment, but if I keep talking away I'll probably jinx that fact. And I like the fact that that penalised the lap even though I was like in the gravel anyway. It was like, yeah, if I was using that to cut the corners that would have been a destroyed lap either way. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to try and focus on this. And oh, Octo had said you ask cars. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the first of two streams for me tonight, or today actually, because this is me doing my time trial ahead of the actual league races tonight. And there's this track first that, if you can see the name in the top left corner, the Osk Osser Osher Leben GP. <laughs> I'm butchering that each and every time I try and pronounce it. And yet, Octo, my throat is still quite crummy at the moment. It doesn't seem too bad right now, but like I said, if I keep chatting away, I'll end up drying my throat out and make my throat worse, so... It's like I've got a cup of juice next to me, and once I finish that, like, I'll probably pause every now and then to take a sip of that. And then once I've finished that, I'll have a strep so to help with my throat. So I'll probably be muted when I have the strep so in my mouth. So far I've managed the 137, but both of these laps have been, like, bomb laps, I guess, like, invalidated. And that was a 134. Yeah, that first corner is going to be a bit hectic in the race, because, especially if there's, like, 15 of us in the league now, I don't know how many of that 15 or 16 are actually going to be showing up tonight, but... Yeah, th that many cars into that tightest first corner, and that's going to be a pile-up, guaranteed. E either that or everyone's going to mir miraculously get round in one piece somehow. Anyway, I'm going to mute here for a bit, just so I can like focus on the racing rather than the talking, and not worry about straining my throat if I end up chatting away for to myself for a while. I like how as I say that I then managed to cut a corner and invalidate the lap I was on. <laughs> GG. Not like it was a great lap anyway, these are just like getting to grips with the track again after so long. And more getting to grips with the gravel and the grass I find at the moment. 
Anyway, mic mute. Oh, <laughs> talking a bit. And see what a difference me and the mic made. I <laughs> immediately got 133.015. And now that I've unmuted the mic, I've already screwed up the first turn. And yeah, that's okay, o Octo. He said he'll be lurking a bit, lurking a bit anyway, so... Yeah, usually, it's, uh, between you and Yogi and I guess a few others tend to lurk in my streams, so... I don't mind, I appreciate the sort of plus one on the view count. <laughs> And yeah, well, it's like la last time around when I streamed on the Friday night for the races. It's like the first round around Road America went well, thankfully. Like between, well, I guess the race not so much. Like the fact that I had to fight my way back to the position I started in, but I fought my way back to where I started. So I was pleased to get the point for that, I guess. But. The second round that was supposed to be done in Dim Park Grand Prix circuit ended up getting abandoned in the end, but it's like I had all kinds of issues with getting disconnected from the sort of the ses the lobby session for the race and they tried getting me back in several times and even had several like at least two or three times of having to restart my Xbox and the broadcast, I think, was affecting it as well, but even when I stopped trying to broadcast, it still kept kicking me out of the lobby, and it got to the point where there was only about three minutes left of the qualifying, and I think in those final few minutes, you can't actually invite people back, so at that point, I was kind of screwed for getting back in, and I had to, like, effectively miss the last race, or the second race, and, and what happened instead or well, what I'd found out from later on was that that race got abandoned because of the fact that so many other people ended up having connection issues during the race itself to where it would have been unfair to like continue on and just finish up the race with those that were able to stick around so I think they just like quit out the race altogether in the end. Not 100% sure what happened but it got abandoned is what, is what I heard as well so it means I didn't miss out on any points from the the league races from Oven missed one and because also because of that tonight's league races instead of being rounds three and four or what would have been rounds three and four are now rounds two and three. So this is this is the first uh, this is round what will be round two for tonight's track. And round three will be the Hockenheim GP circuit which I'm more uh, acquainted to in terms of the track knowledge on that circuit. Whereas this one, I'm kind of a bit all over the shop and trying to like find my way again. I mean, I managed that 133, but that's still miles off where I'd hope to be, but even then I don't know if that'll be a realistic time that I'll manage to set or not. 
I may do what I did before with switching between various GT3 cars to try and... Because that seemed to be a good learning process to like finding where some could grip and others couldn't and then eventually when it came back to coming back round to this car I had all that extra track and car knowledge so I was able to put that like put all that into place and set an even faster lap in this car than I had done on the first uh, series of laps and Octo said before usually lurk in all streams so and then the sticky out down remote yeah, that's true. I end up lurking a lot of streams as well. Or go usually lurking like Pac and Hun and like Blessed, Dashy, Icy, Lilo, sort of Angel streams as well. Just like whoever's streaming, I guess, I'll end up lurking whilst I'm like playing either something on my laptop or something on the Xbox. I believe that's series of corners back there, and I had to look back and run off the track, didn't I? But I believe that series is sort of right, left, right could be theoretically taken fairly straight depending on how you get into that corner. Like if you get the right approach to it you could theoretically take it as, as if it was a straight section near enough. I should maybe turn down my TV volume just ever so slightly here. Because I had it turned up for listening to to Pat, Sh Pat Grat streams on Twitch, the past broadcasts that I've been missing out on so far. I've almost finished catching up anyway, but yeah, I've been watching through those and having quite a fun time with all all the sort of hilarious moments that happens. And yeah, it's the reason why I watch the past broadcasts because you miss out on all this hilarity. It's like if I had like the ability to pause time or or like infinite time even then I would sort of watch through everyone's past broadcasts and probably play games on my laptop or Xbox or something but because I don't then I'm limited to just watching PAX past broadcasts because that pretty much fills me in for the most part or at least when it comes to like the big group streams that they do as well as the recent April Fool's thing that he did and all that I see that last lap I got was a 133.1, but I don't know if that was an invalid lap or not. Like, did I do that on a invalidated lap, or did I do that on an actual valid lap? So if so, that would be a surprise. <laughs> I'll bet you if you kept your foot in enough through that bit, it would probably invalidate your lap. Anyway, I'm go going to go back to mute in here and see how I'll get on on this next lap. And this is going to be a faster lap. Oh wow, jumped up to 131.321. Well, oh, a one point, essentially a 1.7 second gain on my previous personal best. That was quite a nice lap. I'm still, 
Still a couple of seconds off of that 129 zone where I'd hope to be, but so far so good, I guess. Like, I may end up doing this sort of switching between some of the GT3 cars to get to grips with the track better, but for now, I'll stick with this for maybe another 5 or 10 laps and see how I get on. I reckon I could carry a bit more speed through there like I did on this time. Whereas last time around was was a bit always a bit hesitant on the throttle or a bit feathery on the throttle I guess. And using the brakes as well. It seemed to be through here where I made that big gain, sort of from taking it like that I guess. Anyway, muted. That'd be funny if I'm inadvertently faster on this lap, but nope. <laughs> I can already tell as soon as I was coming in towards the straight, towards the, the line, should I say. Dang it. I was fearing that was going to happen. I knew she'd have been on the. maybe on the brakes or in the downshifting of the gear or something, but. yeah, running out wide there effectively cost me that lap. I, it probably won't show me sector times anymore for this lap now that I've invalidated it. And from now on, I'm just going to. hmm. I swear that's the exact same sector time I got through the first sector, or the exact same set of numbers, but slightly different way around for the 9 and the 8. Anyway, now I'm just, any time I'm going to mute, I'm just going to mute rather than point out each and every time, so back to racing. Wow, that was just marginally faster. 131.0 I'm down to now. Hopefully I can get some... Hopefully I can take like another half second off of this lap still. It's not going to be on this lap anyway because I just spun the back wheels and almost lost the rear end of the car. I think I'll give it another couple of laps and then switch to another GT3 car on this track just to see like 
like do what I did before with switching between various cars and finding time and places where I haven't yet. At the same time though, I like I don't want to set a fastest personal best in a car and then come back to this car and find I can't actually beat it. Cause then it'd be like, why can't I use this car instead of this like why can't I use the other car instead of this one for the league racing tonight? But yeah, it's it's so like even though it's open GT3 season, it doesn't mean open as in each week you can choose a different car, it means open as in you select your car for the week out of all the GT3 cars available and once you've made your choice that's your car for the week sort of thing. Right, that felt like a much smoother lap. It was like not going full speed all through the corners. Oh nice, I've already brought that down to 130.4. And I just, just missed the braking point entirely. I was supposed to brake at that first board and broke so about halfway between the first and the second, hence why I ended up massively wide. I just had to clear my throat at the end of that sentence. <laughs> As my voice started to go a bit. <laughs> I reckon I've already made a huge improvement in this car alone, like, because I think it was a 134.4, did I say, in the other car, and that was, that was many months back towards the start of the league, that must have been like, I think that was the first, no wait, that was maybe the second league choice car, because the first was the Formula Golf, and I believe I didn't stream Project Cars back then, or stream, like, or was it really into the streaming at first sort of thing. Because we had the, the Formula Golf 3000 League first, before then going into the the rough GT, R, is it RGT or RG, it's RGT something or RGA or, I believe, you know which car I mean anyway, the one I pointed out already. The one who's lapping already four seconds quicker than, so. But I believe the difference being back then that uh, well, Project Cars, I think, was ha handling different back then, or or well, no, actually, because that was one of the one of the updates has changed the things and reset the boards. I think after the Formula Golf season, or maybe during that. So it may have been between seasons, because like all the time trial leader leaderboards got reset for the the new handling changes in one of the updates so that that way there wasn't like time set like much faster time set from the way the cars used to handle sort of thing but I think now people have gotten to grips with with the the new system enough over the last however many months now that the probe was set like much better times than they did the first time around or at least had more like time to play the game and sort of, sort of thing
Oh dang. <laughs> Not too far off my personal best from before anyway. <laughs> if you hang like too wide out there, it sees it as gaining an advantage by using like more, like using all that runoff. I guess if, even I think going off onto the little grassy patch counts as what the game thinks as being an advantage to like leaving the trap and so it's still keeping the momentum flowing, sort of thing. Note to self, don't take that inside first corner like that. Because otherwise you do a jump through the air. And I'm pretty sure that probably cost me at least a second or two easily.
Yeah, uh, Noctos, you're still about. How are you today, anyway? It's like, you, you know I've got a sore throat, so how how are you? I'm, I'm guessing you'll be better than, than I'm faring at the moment. <laughs> just ever so slightly put a wheel out in the grass there and ruined it. And <laughs> I just noticed I'm up to lap 24 already here. Yeah. I think I'll have one more lap after this and then I might try a practice race for like, what, 10 laps maybe? It's like I could do the thing with changing between other cars but at the same time it's like I said with I don't want to inadvertently set a faster lap with another car and then come back and find that I can actually go faster in this car and end up having it so that the time on the leaderboard's set in a different car than the one I should be using for the league. And I suppose it's like you're going to be better better off getting as much practice in you as you can in the car that you're supposed to be using rather than 
switching between cars, sort of like I was doing before. I mean, yes, it gives you different cars to look at, and but I've got like another track to practice on yet, and if I end up switching between cars, I'll end up spending most of the stream on the first track and not get to the second one. I mean, I, st I started almost an hour ago now, I think, like maybe 50 minutes or 45 minutes ago, so... I've still got plenty of time to go in the stream yet, but... Because I'll be streaming for a few hours or... Until I feel like I've done enough, I guess, whichever comes first. It's like I could easily spend like the entirety of the stream just on this one track. Either between this car alone or switching between other cars, but... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've effectively done... We're going to event, end up doing this at a double race distance with this car because it's only 15 laps for the race. And I've already put in like 25 laps here. But I guess when you think about it, the amount of time spent in time trial and then the qualifying before the race itself, you're effectively doing like maybe two or three or four times the race distance. The amount of practice just to make sure that you're like ready for the race itself. sure where this lap's going to be. I don't think it's going to be faster though. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> and hello to everyone that's viewing my stream right now. It says I have seven viewers but I guess for the most part it's people lurking in on the stream or on the chat or people that are like coming and going between like my stream and maybe like seeing Checking out other project car streams or just general stream sort of browsing, I guess. But welcome to whoever's around anyway. Because I'm streaming direct directly from my Xbox, unlike when I was streaming before from my laptop, then I can't actually look at the chat or viewer list properly to see who's there, so. But then I'd have to like pause to check things like that anyway. I'm going to try keeping muted for the next few laps here again just to see if I can like focus on the track rather than talking whilst driving part.
Surprised they didn't get penalised around that eh, corner exit. Oh wow! I did it, 129.922 right, I'm going to pause there and let the replay run if I skip ahead until it gets to the right section here yeah I think if I let it run from here and I'm going to mute whilst I have a, a drink And that's where I've got up to. <laughs> I had a drink and check, caught up with things, notifications on my phone. I'm going to try one more lap here, but I think I'll do a practice race next against the AI opponents, and then after that I'll switch to Hawking MGP for the next sort of time trial track. Like I took a few, a few different lines, and I'm surprised I got that faster lap. Considering I was tapping the brakes at least two or three times through here, but maybe it's better than trying to just throw the car in. Or I don't know. It's one of those sort of one one laps, sort of like you sort of nail it that one time, but it's like good luck getting that lap time again. And I've invalidated the lap. I think what I'll do just for completion's sake I guess I'll return I'll come into the pits so there isn't there isn't a return to pit box anyway but I suppose I'll just uh, hmm, I'll get I'll get to the I'll just come into the pits and then exit there so sort I of think oh yeah and this is the pit lane as well you have to suddenly take the left and then be prepared to break Otherwise your car slams into the wall on its own at much higher speed if you don't brake. I should also 
That's currently on that one. She saved. Should be set to this one. I'll need to change that anyway. Come the race. But yeah, that uh, was that about to pull in? No. I guess it doesn't pull up because it doesn't. You don't need to pit for fewer tires or anything. But yeah, that that'll do it for that part. So yeah, exit session. No, oh, I thought I pressed A there. Evidently not. So let's see where that time puts us on the leaderboard now once it sort of loads in. I press back out of that. And then if I go into here and press X. So it's on the on the main leaderboard it's sort of just outside the top one hundred, because before I think it was like nine not nine hundred, two hundred and ninety something or two hundred and sixty something, but the main one I'm concerned about Hey, there's Shadow Mick. <laughs> but yeah, the main one I'm concerned about is the Friends one, and you'll see right there, Shadow Mick's just ever so slightly ahead. I'd hope to try and get a time around that come qualifying, because sometimes in qualifying, because the race conditions are different, I can manage to go faster. And then the race has managed to go faster by up to a second in some cases. But I guess I'm at the back end of the times that have been set for this one and like although I'm three seconds off the best time like I'll take that because that's three seconds that I know I could like well there's gains to be had by everyone I feel in, at, at times so that's uh, well it's 2.944 seconds to be exact going by the time it says in the next to the, like in the smaller time print there. Oops, I pressed back too many times. Yeah, time trial. Right, next up's Hockenheim GP, so let me go to it. Ah, if I'd kept on it I would have been fine, but now I have to like change that. And I have to go into my garage, I have to select car. It's quicker just to do it this way, because you can go to the McLaren and just directly select it. Make sure you have the light, the right livery, and then load the setup for that one. It's the same setup anyway. I just saved it for the other circuits, but I don't really know if I've done anything to this setup or not, or other than changing the the camber angle right down to zero point nine. That's as far down as it'll go. But yeah, other than that, I don't know if any other changes were made. Like I think I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really want to look into it. And that's set like that, and I actually don't have a time set on this track when the GT3 class, which I'm sure we done this track in the the rough, the RUF car as well. But anyway, I just remembered what I was going to do first was do a quick race weekend. Yeah, let me change that back to being this one. <laughs> I'm just going to call it this one because I can't pronounce that without butchering it, I feel. Setup wise, mm, should I go for the 15? What am I doing for time? Well, I've been streaming an hour now, so yeah, I'll just go for the full 15 lap race and I guess put it up to being 15 opponents as well. Because then that means there's 16 in total, like me included. And I might turn that down to 80 just because I'm not sure where the opponents are going to rank. Uh, if I stay same class, then that should mean there'll be a mix of GT3 cars rather than being all McLarens. And then that way it'll be more like the league races, because it's GT3 rather than just McLaren. At least I'm hoping it does that anyway. If not, I'll quit out and try adjusting settings again. And I'll start from last, I guess, just to see how I get on from the back. And no qualifying or anything like that. Conditions, as long as it's clear and 
I wouldn't really know what to do for time or progression or that, so I'll just leave that as is. Right, before I do that, I'm going to be it back quickly just because I'm going to take my empty cup through the juice in and I'm also going to grab a strep, so so be it back before I get started to this race. Right, I'm back. Apologies for the delay there, but I was as quick as I could be between taking the cup through to the kitchen, coming back and putting a strep somewhere in my mouth, so if I can't English properly or pronounce words properly, I apologise, but I think for the most part I end up being muted during the race here, so let's see how this goes. Hmm, and just the the one that runs the simula the simulation racing league has actually just posted on Facebook there saying about that he won't be broadcasting the race tonight and we'd appreciate if no one else did either because of the fact that we had all those disconnections last night or last week should I say so I might not be able to broadcast the races after all tonight which is disappointing but I guess I've got this to go on that this uh, practice race against the AI. Wow. Did you see that car on the left there? Nope, I kind of just nudged him off the track. Oops. <laughs> but did you see that car on the left there that one in the first corner, it literally turned into the first corner tire wall. Oh look, the moon's in the sky. <laughs> yeah, if I end up getting to first in the next few corners, I might quit out and adjust the difficulty just because I kind of wanted a bit of a challenge rather than go from last to first and win the race <laughs> within the first sort of lap. The AI seems to be a bit here and there at times, like sometimes like that car did, they'll avoid you if you're coming through, or they know you're there so they don't turn into you, but mo a lot of the times they'll end up turning into you or causing crashes, or like that one that turned into the barrier. Yeah, I'm going to give it another lap here, but I might just quit out of this to turn the AI difficulty up to either 90, 95 or 100, because I, I went from last to like third already. I'm racing against the right number of AI opponents anyway, because on that post I spoke about the one by the, the one that runs the league, he also said there's 15 confirmed for tonight, so...
Yeah, I'm just if I end up getting past this car easily as well, then I'm just gonna adjust the AI difficulty. I'll cross the line and see what kind of lap time that like I'll have a look at the lap times and compare yeah, he literally just ran himself off the track because he knew I was on the left there rather than like keeping himself on the track and forcing me to go more into the middle. It's like I don't want a race like this where I'm just going to take the lead against the AI and go on to win. Uh, lap times wise they are lapping much slower than I am. Oh really, in saying that actually, <laughs> when that lap I just said it was a 131 but must have been an invalidated lap because it didn't count. So I'm already lapping like a lot faster than they are, so let me quit out of this and turn the AI difficulty up a bit so I can get a bit of a challenge. Nope, I'm just replying to that post on fa on Facebook, so let me just... No, uh, I'm going to need to quit out again. I meant to adjust the settings. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I need to let this load to then quit to, the, to let it load back to the menu to then adjust the settings. Yeah, so I'm just going to quit out of that to then go back and make sure I just descends this time around. Right, so what I need to do is go into there. I think I'll make it 95, because I don't know if 100 might be a bit too much, but... Because, like... Hmm. I don't know, I think I'll just stick it on 100 and... See what kind of difference that makes, because... If the AI was doing, like, 130s before, what are they going to be doing now? At, like, a difficulty boost to 20, I guess you could say, on the scale meter. Yeah, let's load it up and see how this goes, I guess. Right, I've responded to that post. Let's see how the race goes this time. I don't expect to be going from last to first in the first couple of laps anyway. If anything, a hundred percent difficulty should be a more accurate representation of how the races go in general. The, the actual league races. Oh well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe accurate in terms of lap times once the AI space is out a bit. But it's like this first corner. The AI is just like really. They're just all over the place. Some crash into each other. Some decide to like run off the track. Others run into the barriers. It's just chaos. <laughs> 
And to think that it's going to be like that tonight, 15 cars, or 16 cars even, going into that first turn. And what the hell would it? Whoa, seriously. <laughs> it's like he just ran off the track to keep momentum on that inside line and then just like decided to rejoin the racing line and knock me off the track. And that's what I'm hoping doesn't happen during the races tonight. The what? <laughs> like, I know I just rejoined the track and never knew you. The that car was there, but the AI just has no consideration at all for for the player at the best of times. And also, my car's just all over the shop. Has I got like a? It should have a fuel, a full like race worth of fuel in it, I guess, if it's. Hmm. It's like for me, I guess this is an accurate representation of how my races tend to go. I end up with some kind of mistake near the start that loses me all my positions and I have to fight my way back through the field, so... As much as I want to restart, I guess, I, I guess I'll just stick with this. Right, I'm just going to pause here for a quick moment so I can look at the times. And they're doing 129s and 130 and 131s for the ones towards the back, me included. So I guess unless I can get towards those 129 times like I did just in time trial, then this is going to be a difficult race on my hands. And it's already on, la it's already on that lap. But I'll probably only be streaming for like another hour and 40 minutes or so, so let's just crack on with this and then we can jump over to Hockenheim and... <laughs> oh, I'm up to 130.301 already.
slipstream to get close to him in a straight and try and dive up the inside with the braking. See if we can take him under break. And I'm just getting massively held up by not being able to get past this car in particular. And now's my opportunity. <laughs> And I will grab that with both hands and go past. Right now, I'm on. I got an unexpected interruption that I wasn't expecting to get, so apologies for that one, but for the most part I'm keeping muted to focus on the race anyway, so there's that. Well, I seem to be getting consistent 1 minute 30.0, like 1 minute 30s anyway, should I say. But I need to like try and edge close to the 129s. that's going to do is help me edge closer to a track pen anyway. <laughs> it's like I don't think it's... I'm not sure if you get track penalties during these like quick race things. I think you only get warnings like that. Whereas like if that was online that would have given me a like slow down like cut track penalty like so it slows you right down and it can be either ranges from like five seconds if it's just a minor one or can sometimes throw on a full, like slap a full minute on you and keep you like crawling around most of the track. Nice pace. Just try and pick it up a little bit. You're very consistent. Now you can just dig out a few extra tenths of a second.
And then there's the AI that just like purposely runs herself wide off the track and destroys like marker boards and each other if they're around other cars. <laughs> It's like I don't think I'm going to be maintaining many places in this race against like the hardest difficulty AI, like 100% on the skill level. Which is a bit irritating, but I may end up doing like a quick 5 lap race with maybe the AI on 95's next after this one, just to see how that fares. What? There's a problem with your broadcast. Try lowering your broadcast quality. It says my broadcast is currently lagging. Well, that's new. I'm on, like, the recommended as well. And what does it mean by lagging? Let me pause whilst I... Oh? So I pause and it goes back to say I'm, I'm just live. I'm just going to leave that alone and... If that starts to become a thing, I might try adjusting settings, but... Hmm. That was a new one anyway, an unexpected one. I would have thought with its, like, recommended setting that you wouldn't run into issues, but I guess you still can. And I just cut the track there for like a third time. <laughs> and the rest of the AI cars are just like long gone now.
It always seems to be the case that the car handles so much more differently in like the the qualifying and the race uh, in an actual session breaks. <laughs> Yeah, it handles more differently in these sessions compared to in the time trial. Like, the car felt a bit more responsive in time trial, but I guess with all the extra fuel load in, it's kind of makes the car a little more all, all over the place at times, I guess. <laughs> And that was an interesting line through there, one that I hope to not try again. <laughs> Oh, I've massively messed that one up. Although I guess it wasn't... Well, that bit was quite bad, but I thought I was going to go straight on and end up on the tarmac. I like how the AI, rather than backing off there, they decide to stick in it and run themselves off the track, it seems. It's like the AI sort of realises you're there, but... Because some, like, there's the times when they'll just throw theirself off the track, realizing you're there. But then at the same time, it's like, despite knowing you're there, they'll still throw, try and throw theirself past you at any given opportunity. Even if it's like a completely bad place to try an overtake, they'll just go for it. <laughs> it's like they have no risk at all. Well, I suppose they do have risk, but with not so much reward sometimes.
And I believe I just set my best lap right at the end. Of which it doesn't even show you that these times on here. So, drat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just set a 129. I'm not going to know until I like watch the stream back. Of which it says says stream is lagging again, and I don't know why. I never had that issue before with any streams. Let me open up on Twitch and just like on my phone here. And mob mobile Twitch. Hmm. Well, it shows me as being live still, so it's not like it's disconnected the stream or anything. I'm going to close out of Twitch anyway on my phone just to make sure, cause in case that might have been causing issues. Right, let's go back over to the time trial. If I carefully go to Hockenheim GP, there. Now I should have to change the car setup. Uh, well, I'll load the setup, should I say. Hockenheim. But I shouldn't have to select the car again, because I think is what I meant. Because I didn't change class accidentally. I'm hoping this one goes better in general for like racing wise. Right, before I start to this, I'm just going to quickly reply to the post here on Facebook, because, like, he said, well, I responded to him saying about, like, I was hoping to broadcast the races tonight, as I'm, like, currently broadcasting these ones, but, and, like, if it disconnected me the once during the qualifying tonight, then I'll stop broadcasting for the rest of tonight. But, he sort of said he'd prefer if we didn't just to see how it runs, because the last thing he wants is for someone to lose connection, and... If we don't broadcast it, at least the finger won't be pointed at Twitch, so I'm just going to say to him that, that that's understandable. Right, that should do it. <laughs> I was just saying, like, because we, we've been discussing, like, about having a... <laughs> what? <laughs> right, I was just about to hit A there, even though I've still got the phone in one hand. Right, let's do a bit of this for, say... Probably 20 laps, I guess. We'll see how it goes, like... Oh, uh, I'm going to quit out of this quickly because I don't know which time I'm aiming for, actually. I should have checked, but I just wanted to get this loaded up whilst whilst I was replying, responding to the post on Facebook. But actually, I've kind of, like, forgot to check the one vital thing, the, the times that I need to be comparing myself to. Right, if I press B and oh yeah, that's right. I don't have an entry on this leaderboard, so compared to friends, hmm. Well, looking at that, I guess it'll be hopefully inside one forty, like maybe that one thirty nine mark, like one thirty eight, one thirty nine. I wouldn't mind getting a lap time in, but hmm. Let's see how the how it goes then. Because I've not got a lap time set already on this track, then I guess I'll be going from scratch. Right, 
Hockenheim GP. This track I've done quite a lot more between the league races and time trials, so this one shouldn't be as hard to get to grips. Like, I'll probably still end up running off the track in some places, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's like, yeah, already the car feels a lot more responsive, like, feels like when I accelerate and turn it's not going to spin out on me. Compared to like the race conditions car did. Like it slides a little but not sliding in the way it did in the race conditions of the other track. But yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that I won't be able to broadcast the races tonight because I've been looking forward to broadcasting the league races again but like I'd rather not go against what the the one in charge of the league says that's kind of asking to be kicked out of the league that and the fact that the moment you start broadcasting it lets everyone in the party know between that and even like a news the post to the news feed on the xbox so I'm just going to leave the broadcasting for tonight unfortunately I'd rather just leave it and then at least that way we can all see how it goes and if there's disconnects we at least know it's not project uh, project cars at least. We at least know it's not Twitch causing the issues directly sort of thing. And there'll be more project cars or whoever's in charge of whoever's like running the, the lobby because the one that runs the league doesn't always like host the lobbies or I think he used to but nowadays I think we get like a couple of the other guys in the league sometimes do it so I guess we'll have to see how that goes for tonight and I'm probably going to mute again here in a moment like once I begin this next lap to see how I get on over the next following few laps right that was a 143.1 and that was a sloppy lap I'd say with lots of gain to be made still so let's make that gain Oh dang it. <laughs> it's like of course it's one of those laps where you run just wide enough on the the final bit that you invalidate both that lap and the next lap that you're about to start.
seriously? I cut that corner and invalidates both laps again. And I'm going to pause because my phone keeps flashing and... Oh. <laughs> Facebook notification for someone that left a sticker, but there's also a... Another thing here as well. It's a... Uh, response to the leak post. <laughs> I'm a great host. <laughs> anyway. Slightly irritating that I keep getting those invalidated laps, but I guess I have to like try and avoid using too much of the carb or runoff bit, I guess, in some cases. I like to have braked a lot earlier than I should have for that corner and seemingly wasn't, didn't, still managed to not brake enough that I was carrying too much speed to make that tight turn. That irritates me about racing games sometimes, you feel like you've been on the brake for long enough and then you go into a corner that's not always like a sort of sharp corner like that one and you still end up running wide because seemingly your car's not as slowed it down as you'd have wanted it to be. <sighs> and once again invalidated laps for this lap and the next one. It's that bloody carb. It's going to end up costing me dearly when it comes to actually putting a, a decent lap time together. Because so far I've noticed on the top right that all my lap times have been tumbling. So it's like getting closer to that sort of one... Well it's like the more gain I make the more I'm going to sort of start wanting to not invalidate the lap in the last corners. And I'd rather not be doing that anyway regardless. So this one was a 141.380, but still an invalidated lap time due to this as screw ups before. does. I don't know what lagging means anyway, if it means that there's going to be desync, so if it means that sort of the time between you and 
anyone that's in chat will increase sort of thing, the time between the broadcaster and the viewers I guess. Not entirely sure on that one but I'm just going to leave it alone and... Because for the most part it will show that on the screen for like a few moments and it just goes back to showing it live and being fine again. As soon as my wheels ran over the the curb into that last corner, I thought for sure I was going to invalidate the lap again. And that also invalidates your lap by running out too wide into that first corner sort of runoff area. This track certainly makes between the car and the track certainly seem to be handling differently compared to before tracks. Well, the other track before, should I say? So even if you're using that first corner in the way you might use some other corners, it still invalidates it. Like in terms of maybe having like one half of the car inside the track lines and the other half just like over the car and on the runoff.
Hmm, that time I got away with it. And that's how I managed to put enough wheels into the gravel that I went into the gravel rather than just sort of keeping it on the tarmac a bit before the gravel. And that was probably going to be a good or better lap at least. Was. <laughs> And I knew that one was coming. The moment I sort of ran wide there, it was like, yep, that's going to invalidate me. I don't know what it is about this corner, it's like... If you go down to just third, you're seemingly going too fast to take the corner, but if you go down to second and then back up to third, it's fine. It's like, can't I just go down to third and stay there? <laughs> Even when it's throwing on some extra braking. I knew that was going to happen, like, one of those times doing that. <laughs> it was, like, one of the few laps ago before it was, like, once now that I start, like, getting some lap times in, it was like I'm going to start finding other places to invalidate the lap time that I haven't yet managed to do so. It's like, it's like the lap times on this one are just falling apart, really, instead of like coming into place and getting faster, I just seem to be getting nowhere. Like this car and track combination just seems to be rubbish. Which is disappointing. And that time I just gone straight off. Knowing me that'll happen in the race where you just the rear end just snaps and you're off in the grass before you know it. Yep. 
hang on a minute, I have a text. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just reply to say a text. <laughs> And also check Facebook quickly because I think there's another response in the the leak post that I mentioned, so I just want to keep up to date with that. I mean, I oh, it's just something else. It's someone else that posted in the leak. Wow, that's a nice setup. An Eddie Irvine racing sim, <laughs> or just what someone called it anyway, but. Yeah, it's got like the three monitor set up on the go with the racing wheel and such things. It looks very nice. Anyway, back to our racing simulation, I guess. And on that note, I'm going to check my phone again. Send on that, and right, I can put that down now. And focus on the racing for the next hour, I guess. Probably go to about lap thirty here in the time trial, and then do another practice race, and we would bring the AI difficulty down to ninety, I think, for this one. Just because having it on one hundred before was a bit overkill with them being able to consistently set lap times that I'd only managed to set like 129 the once. And on this track, I can't even get near to that 139 lap time that I was hoping to aim for. Or at least not yet, if not being able to manage that. And that's not how I wanted to take first the first corner by cutting it entirely. Still, I like the old hockey name better, and I, I do I do know that you do. I believe anyway that you get that. Yeah, I'm sure you do get that on this one as part of like the classics racing track pack. But even then, I don't know which variation of the classic one it is. Like, if it's the one from say like the nineties era of Formula 1 racing, or if it's say like the 80s or 70s potentially era. But yeah, I preferred the old hockey name compared to like this one.
I'm surprised that they didn't invalidate my lap back there, but I guess because I wasn't going flat out that it didn't see it as me gaining an advantage from running off the track. Because that curb just seemed to like... It's like I'd made the corner for the most part, but then the curb just seemed to throw me back in the other direction, annoyingly. It's like I was hoping this track would go better in my favour because the other one I've only done twice now I guess you could say or like I've done it once for a league race a long time ago and and apparently the broadcast slagging again, great. <laughs> but yeah, I'm surprised that was a faster lap honestly. Just this first corner, the car seems to be all over the place at times. Like, that time it wasn't so bad, but... I guess it's one thing about this game is that... Uh, really? I was barely cutting the track. <laughs> it's like, yeah, don't expect things to go great on one track and then carry over to another track, because that doesn't seem to be how it works at all in this game. Like with the braking into there, it's like you feel like you've been on the brakes for for a long time. Then by the time you turn in, you're still carrying enough speed that you you run wide unless you additionally brake again. And it's that sort of braking on top of your already braking that's costing you time.
And that last, that lap time for the last lap was, or well, the lap itself was probably going well up until those last turns, where it decided to run massively out wide. And I say it because I was on the brakes and the car still went off the track. And then, of course, the trap, the carbs decide to do that to the car. It's like, oh hey, see that carb you wanted to use that's now going to throw you the opposite direction from the way you're intended on going. Good luck with that one. <laughs> and that was steaming. So I took that line on the inside on that occasion. That was steaming enough to get me a cut track penalty for that way. It's like, okay then. And what? I mean, that one I just did there was definitely cut in, but that previous one? <laughs> it's like we're back to this crap, are we? The whole, you've cut the track, you're, we're going to invalidate all your laps thing.
additional bit. It's like there was a few places where I messed up, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just all over the place at the moment. Although it doesn't help that having gone round and round and round tracks, it's like it's like when you start feeling a bit sleepy from doing repetitive things. It's like your focus just suddenly <laughs> drains away, and yeah. I guess because I'm not really making any gains here, so... Hmm. Like, must, I'm certainly not going to make any gains if I fall asleep whilst trying to drive the car, but... And it doesn't help that you invalidate your lap on, like, anywhere, it seems. So I'm going to give it a couple more laps and then do a test, uh, a test, a practice race before I finish up my stream for tonight. I say for tonight because I, I would have been saying for, for just now before the league races tonight, but it'll be for tonight because of the fact that I won't be streaming the league races after all for tonight at least. Until we get to the bottom of like what's causing all the disconnects and that we can rule Twitch out of being like the main soul sort of part, the soul like reason sort of thing because if no one's broadcasting the races to Twitch and people still end up having disconnecting problems then we'll have to sort of we'll point fingers elsewhere I guess it'll be either at like the games the game's own servers or or like whoever's like the host will need to be changed or something if it's their if it's their reason sort of thing
fuel so just because I ran wide ever so slightly on there, it's done that again. You can, t oh, you can tell how much I'm looking forward to this race than it anyway. Says a lot when I'm looking forward more to the first race, the one that I did before. <laughs> this one, however, just seems to be a disaster waiting to happen. Car setup should be fine still, considering that like, like it should be unchanged rather than using like a default one or something. Well, I say car setup. There's only probably a, a couple of tweaks made. One being the camber, for the most part. Right, I'm just going to quit out of that there. I'm not <laughs> going through that crap of doing a lap or doing a, a lap that's been invalidated. Or some turning my room light on to see if that'll help waking me up a bit more because Yeah. It's uh, what time is it now? Just going eight o'clock. So I think by the time I finish up doing the the uh league race and I did just switch my phone off there if you had a plug sound because I sort of leaned in just to do that. Let me look on my garage load setup. That one. Yep, I noticed the cambers as they should be, so. Where does the find me put me on this one then? 315th in the world overall and at the very bottom on that one by like 4.6 seconds off the main time so there's a lot of improvement to be made there an improvement that seemingly can't be made so that sucks <laughs> basically right let's do a quick race weekend and change it to be Hockenheim and let's crank this down to be 90 I reckon And it should still be loaded into that one, not that it's going to make a difference anyway, but just so that I make sure it's loaded so it doesn't use like a, a completely bog standard setup. Like I said, I think mine's only got a couple of tweaks for the most part, so... Mm. It's like I probably could go better if I did look into the setup more, but... I managed to get on fine with the last couple of races, or well, the last sort of race and practice for what would have been the other race that I didn't get to attend and that then got abandoned, so, you know, let's do a practice race, or well, what we're loading into now for anyone that's just joined is a practice race against the AI, because I'll not be able to broadcast the league races tonight, unfortunately, but I went over that earlier in the stream that because sort of, of the issues that we had last time, we're sort of going to see if ruling out Twitch sort of broadcasts from any of us makes it hold up better or not.
<laughs> it's like, yes, I just nudged a few of them there, but... It's the AI. They can get nudged if, if they get in the way. Whereas when it comes to other players, I'll not be doing that, or at least, like, not on purpose. <laughs> See, the AI just, like, nudges into you, or nudges each other off the track. They just don't care. Like, look at that mess back there. Let's see how I get on against this le level of AI then, as he... As he, sort of, between... Well, that was like three things in a row there. <laughs> it's like between the curb throwing me in a different direction from travel and then bouncing off that car as a result. And getting a penalty for like two of the things. I like how I switched my phone off like a minute or so ago and it's only just like lit up on the screen to say like unplug to not waste energy or something. Because usually I make sure that rather than just switching it off and unplugging it or unplugging it whilst it's turned on, I sort of make sure it's switched off and then the green light on the phone's gone out to indicate that it's no longer being powered sort of thing. But sometimes it'll sit there for like an extra minute thinking it's still charging. Doesn't always do that, sometimes the moment you switch it off the screen just lights up right away and the little green indicator goes off to say that the phone knows it's not charging anymore. As for this race, or practice race I guess, I'm just taking it as it comes. Like I may be gaining on the AI a bit here and there, but like it's not as like easy as the other one where when it was on a skill level of 80 I was like from last to first in the first two laps. Oh, I can tell that this is going to be just a massive amount of track penalties for running off wide tonight. And that's probably going to kill the race if that happens. It's like even just get even just like ever so slightly being on one of these runoff bits, it's just like it gives you normal penalties during practice races with AI, but when it comes to multiplayer lobbies that translates into being a track penalty that slows you right down. Yep, yeah, that was a bit too close for comfort there, or... I was trying to be late on the brakes, but it was a bit too late on the brakes. I really don't know what the AI is on this game at times, like... Sometimes they'll see you there and turn in like that, and other times they'll be... They'll see you there and immediately throw theirself out wide or off the track if, if be. Of which sometimes rejoining the track they tend to cause issues for either you or other cars. You 
I remember the first time I saw this game in action was like I think it was back when I pre-ordered both. Like it was after, yeah, it was literally on the night that I'd asked after pre-ordering both my Xbox One and Project Cars in the first place that there was actually a Twitch live stream from the same company where I bought them from that so, uh, they had someone playing it and like they didn't have their mic active or anything because I guess it was like direct through the console stream and back then you were quite like you couldn't have a mic enabled unless you had connect sort of thing but like they were doing sort of Formula E around Silverstone I think it was or Formula C maybe and they were doing quite badly against racing against the AI because I, b I believe they were running on the default 50 setting and either couldn't keep up with them yeah I think it was the case they couldn't keep up with them or any time they were racing with them it just like didn't go well but then again that was like how Project Cars like that was Project Cars' handling back then that it was different compared to how it is now I think now it's a bit more realistic and less arcadey I guess <sighs> really with that with these curbs they just like catch your car and decide you're going the other way from the way you were intending on going and like at this point I don't mind if anyone gets through because I can just like go past them again it seems still going to try and catch back up to the cars in front without too much issue it's like you seem to need to be able to find a fine balance of setting the AI scale on here between like that balance of like being able to actually race with them without them leaving you in the dust and you sort of struggling to even make positions but at the same time it's like you don't want them to be either overly easy or overly difficult or I was going to say about the fact that they're seemingly all over the place at times but even on the hardest difficulties they just throw their cars anywhere even if it means like off the track or into the grass or into other cars or say you included <laughs> Like I said before, they don't they don't have a care in the world. And that's not how I wanted to take that first corner, obviously as well as those last corners as well with running out wide and getting the track so uh, the time, the lap penalty thing pop up Slipstream to get close to him in the straight and try and dive up the inside for the braking. 
surprised to see a Janetta up there, because like when I tried using the Janetta before against like comparison to other GT3 cars, it it was sort uh, I'd say it was maybe mixed, like it was maybe and I see you're going to be there and <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of mixed in the sense that it was maybe towards the lower end of the field and what kind of laps it would put in compared to like some of the other ones that were doing a lot faster well done. That's second place. Keep, digging. <laughs> keep digging It's like with this level of AI, it seems a bit sorry on the easy side. That, like, you can catch up and easily pass them like that, but at the same time, if you're in a big gap like this, it's a bit. maybe that's a slight bit more harder to catch up. I guess I'm not going to worry about it too much anyway, like. I'll finish the rest of this race and then probably finish up the stream there for the night after that. And I guess I'll have to see how the league races go, but so, uh, having done the practice and today it's changed my outlook on which one I'm looking forward to more. That I'm looking forward more to the first one that I can't pronounce at all without Butcher in it. And then not looking forward so much to the Hockenheim GP here. But when, but with there being like fifteen of us, then yeah. I guess I'll soon see how it goes. <laughs> or well, sixteen, should I say? Because there's fifteen and then me sort of on top of that, so we. Well, that's it. Turn up. It's like there's fifteen confirmed for tonight. Oh wait, no, that's 15 confirmed, including me. I'm read I was sort of reading that wrongly, because that was going by that Facebook post I mentioned earlier from the one that runs the league. Yeah, so that's 15 confirmed, inc me included in that number, rather than 15 included and me. <laughs> I read that wrongly. But yeah, either... I guess with the 15 of us, if if everyone does turn up, like I get the feeling there might be one or two no shows, possibly. But that depends on like what what they're doing, or if or if they have their own technical issues or such. But yeah, I guess I'll just have to see how the league races go, and maybe hope to score a point or two at, at best, or at the least, I guess. At best, I'd like to be scoring more points, obviously, but... Because the league races are done with a Formula 1 sort of points system of going from sort of 25 for first down to 1 point for 10th. As far as I'm aware, I've only got 1 point in the league so far because I started 10th at Road America, dropped down to last, and then fought my way back through the field and managed to get my point back sort of right towards the end of the race. Well, that 141.1 is a new personal best in terms of that. I think it was a 141.6 I managed at best in the time trial. I 
I was going to say I might try and get a screenshot of that before I finish the race, but I can't take screenshots through the Xbox game DVR thing whilst you're streaming. Because usually I like to take screenshots of like best laps and things, but in terms of like the time trials I can do that afterwards once I finish up streaming. I can go back and then take screenshots of those. I guess it's just for my own records, like... I should really make some kind of spreadsheet, I guess, and p put all the times as well as like, well as well as the fact that I've got like tons and tons of on, tons of like pictures and videos that I still need to save off of the through the Xbox Live website itself, because that's like the only, well, one of the only ways you extract them to your computer. I think the other way is setting up a, a OneDrive cloud storage thing, but then you're not kind of getting, I don't think you're getting the original file, you might get a compressed version or something, or not entirely sure. Between that and like videos might take up more space and quickly eat away at that cloud drive storage, or OneDrive, whatever it's called. Well there's another new personal best. I'd be tempted to jump back onto the time trial after this race and see if I can't improve upon my time that I set. That car makes some... that car makes a nice noise when you're like actually racing it. Like if I was driving that car but when you're racing with it, it makes some real weird noises that makes you sound like you're getting audio distortions. And that just decided to throw my car everywhere.
by one second, try and extend the gap if you can. Great work mate, the pace is really strong, no mistakes, we're building a good gap to second. Yeah, I'm still, I'm tempted to still do a small bit of time trial after this, by small I mean like maybe f a few laps at best, just to see if I can't like get that 140.4 or even a low 141 sort of time on the time trial, considering that the best I've matched was a 140 point, a 141.6 I think. That 140.4 was quite a lot better, or oh, well, 1.2 seconds better. So I, could, I didn't have too much of a fight against the AI here. I think maybe the the difficulty on 95 might have been that bit more challenging without it being completely difficult to catch up to them at all, sort of thing. Because if I... Well, I'll pause before I cross the line just to see what kind of lap times everyone was doing. And then, yeah. <laughs> And then a small bit of time trial to end the stream on. So yeah, before I cross the line... So that 140.419 is the best I managed and... Yeah, that's quite a, a fair bit faster than some of the other cars towards the bottom of end of the field and even like between one and two seconds up on like some of the faster ones so yeah let's cross the line anyway Great driving. You've nailed it. That was absolutely dominant from start to finish <laughs> absolutely dominant from start to finish it's like yeah I kind of ran away with that one a bit once I got into the lead well, I guess I didn't run away with it, was it like I sort of got into the lead and pulled it a minute gap or something? But yeah, let's... Well, it's now just about half 8pm, so 8.30pm UK time, so... I believe it was about 5 minutes from, well, 3 hours from... Well, in five minutes it would have been three hours since I started the stream and I usually only stream for a few hours because I've got food I'll be having before the actual league races tonight. But yeah, I'd still like to 
improve on my time there, that 141 point, oh, it was a 141.5 or 529 to be exact there. So yeah, let's do maybe 5 laps at most, but probably not as many. Just so that I can see how that goes. Giving something on my phone, a quick check there. And hopefully, I don't get into those corner cutting things that are going to invalidate the laps. And that's probably not going to help to improve my lap time at all doing that. And straight away off the bat I've managed a 140.1. Can I improve on that to a 139 I wonder? I <laughs> had to like tilt the view down there to see what the time was but that was a bit of a sloppy start to the lap. I reckon I definitely should be able to get a 139 considering that was a 140.1 with the whole running wide into that corner back there. It's like I reckon if I got that as a nice inside line I should be good for getting a 139 point something. Right, I just need to do, I just need to get this the rest of this lap right and I should be good for one thirty nine.
This should be a good one. <laughs> oh, look at that. 139.88. Oh, 1880. What is the way you want to read it? That definitely got my heart racing anyway, like, so. <laughs> holding your breath, kind of concentrating, and. Because, like, I, and you was on a much faster lap, or say much faster, <laughs> that's, into the, that's from the 140s into the 139s now. But it's like, I didn't want to sort of ruin it or run wide anywhere or cut a, cor cut a corner accidentally and get a, a cut uh, an invalid lap penalty thing. So it's like, I was a bit extra precautious in the end there. I'm just going to finish this lap and then exit back out to the leaderboards and see how that time compares, but it should be like a lot closer than it was before anyway. Because that might have been only a, 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 a small gain on the the first lap that I did, but this uh, after about 25 laps before it was not even that many laps in that the best I managed the last time around. Like when the time trial for this one was the 141.5, I believe. Yeah, 145. 141.529 was. So I've got that down to 139.880. So that's definitely a big improvement in itself. It's like 0.3 off being a. like roughly 0.3 off being a 2 second improvement. And yeah, that's. That's that last that lap time at the end is more like towards what I was previously getting. So yeah, that that race kind of made a difference. Like it kind of helped me gain more time around the track. I felt. And actually helped me to like set a better lap time in the end. So I guess the practice races aren't all that. So. Uh, Nothing. Right, if I press B to back out of that. And I believe on the main leaderboard my place before had me at like was it three hundred or something? That's a it's I'm sure it was like three hundred and fifteen or something before, so that's like a hundred place jump on the main leaderboard, but what I'm more concerned about is the friends one. And although I'm still at the bottom, I'm now just under three seconds off of the the fastest lap set. Yeah, I'm sure that's the same for both tracks, actually, if I set that to the other one again. Uh, this one. Yeah, my time on there, like 2.944 off of the fastest lap set by old mode. And then if I go back to... Hockenheim GP again, 2.985, so yeah, both of my leaderboards, uh, or friends' leaderboard times are now just under 3 seconds off the quickest, so I'll take that for what it's worth, like, obviously I'd like to be up by a, another second or so, so, because usually I find myself racing against the likes of, sort of Red Devil, or have done in the, have done in the past anyway, but... I'll take it as it comes anyway, and so being three seconds off the pace isn't that bad so compared to say being five seconds off the pace like I was originally getting on the laps. So yeah, between the Hockenheim one there and the and the I can't even pronounce the name of that one GP. <laughs> so that's the times that I managed in the end. Uh, it's like a 10 second difference between both kind in a way that one's like a one like that the times there is like in the range of the 126.9 to 129.9 whereas the other ones are 136.9 to 139.9 so it's in the same range and Postman and Scrabble are part of it as well whereas like Cryogen and Maestro there aren't in the league anymore, so it's like I'm not the not the slowest time on that board, but at the same time they could eas they could just as easily improve, I guess, like I did. So, but anyway, I'm going to 
finish up the stream there then, so let me just jump over to the driver network profile and well, I guess that's my stats so far. I've almost played a hundred hours on this game going by that. So that'll probably like a few hour, a few more hours added onto that after tonight's races and and yeah. Uh, I guess I could go to the my garage bit and sort of keep it like that, just so you've got a car to look at in the background there. But yeah, that'll do it for today's stream then. So let me switch back to the Twitch snap on the app so I can stop broadcast here in a moment. But yeah, thanks to everyone that stopped by the stream today. Let me just check the... Uh, I don't know if I gained any new followers during this stream or not. Because I don't have notifications of those things really. And I don't know if my stats updated or not. I don't think they've updated on mobile, but... Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it for my stream today anyway. Uh, my thumbnail still shows me going round the track in the car, but that's probably just before I quit out of it anyway. And who else? Who else do we have live, actually? Uh, it says there's three channels live. It's taken a moment to load the said channels, though. Uh, right, so... For people to raid, even... Well, for anyone that's watching right now, if you want to find a non... Like, there's non-Project Cars people that we can raid, because between me and Ord Mode they're really the only ones that stream Project Cars, and a few others do, but yeah. For people that I know, like friends from uh, Twitch that that are live, is Blessed underscore Eternal and Ashes Corner, who, by the looks of it, they're playing against each other in Hearthstone, or playing Hearthstone, like, against other opponents, I don't know. One of the two. I believe it's against each other. Yeah, it's against each other looking at the the pictures or the the icons in the thumbnail. So if anyone who's uh, wants a stream to go to next, I recommend checking them out. But for my stream today, that'll do it. So yeah, thanks for stopping by everyone that did. And I guess Octo was the only one active in chat, but that was like after the start of the stream, whereas now he's kind of... I think he, he went into full-on lurk mode and I haven't heard from him since. So that's fair enough, but yeah, for my stream there, that'll do it. Bye today, I hope you enjoyed me do a bit of time trial and make some improvements along the way, even in cases where I didn't think I was going to make improvements, but yeah, I guess that'll do it. It's, like a, it's unfortunate I can't broadcast the races tonight, but as I said, uh, the the one that runs the leaks advised uh, against, against him and anyone else not broadcasting in case that's what's causing our issues so that's fair enough so I guess my next I might try broadcasting the Sunday race and see how that goes but for tonight here that'll be all for me so yeah thanks for everyone that stopped by to watch the stream today and Go and raid Blessed Eternal or Ashes Corner, and yeah, as I guess, stay tuned for whatever I do next on Twitch stream wise. And probably not much until my sore throat goes away. Like, it hasn't been too bad today, but if I do street, if I start streaming where I'm going to be talking full time like this, then I'll end up straining my throat and making it sore again. So, I guess my next time streaming properly probably won't be for another week or two, but. In regards to the league races, I'll try and stream the Sunday night league race, the Scrabble Sunday one again, because that, that was quite good the last time round. But as I've said for like the third time now, I guess, that's it for me tonight here. So, yeah, thanks for everyone that stopped by again, and like I said, go and read Blessed and Ashy if you're, if you're currently watching right now, and that'll do it for me. So, yeah, as always, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.